This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says the surface area of the box is, again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator, and I can almost guarantee you, you'll have to calculate the volume or surface area of a box at some point on your test. All right, so we're going to need to know how to calculate the surface area of this box. A box is the same thing as a rectangular prism. All right. And as it happens, this box, a rectangular prism, has three dimensions. It has a length, a width, and a height. In addition, it also has six faces, and two pairs of those faces are always going to be identical. So the surface area formula is going to be 2 times something in parentheses, plus 2 times something in parentheses, plus 2 times something in parentheses. Well, what do we put in the parentheses? we put the area of those faces. And to quickly do that, all you have to do is make sure to multiply your length, width, and height together. So let's do length times width in this one, length times height in this one, and width times height in this one. And just like that, we have the formula to calculate the surface area of a box or a rectangle or prism. The rest is just uh, plugging values in and doing the math accordingly. Uh, this becomes, and this is our, length, this is our width, and this is our height. Uh, this becomes 7 times 5 plus 2, 7 times 3 plus 2, uh, 5 times 3. Let's work this out. 7 times 5 is 35 plus 2, 7 times 3 is 21, plus 2, 5 times 3 is 15. Uh, again, on test day, if you don't want to make a mistake doing this math mentally, I'd recommend you do it on your scratch paper. We have 35 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10, so bring down a 0, carry a 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So this is going to be 70. Plus, again, let's do this off to the side. We have 21 times 2. That's going to be 2, 4. This is 42. Uh, 15 times 2 is 30. You should be able to do that one mentally confidently. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, work this out. Again, on test day, I recommend you do this off to the side. We have 70, 42, and 30. We're going to be adding all that up. 0 plus 2 plus 0 is 2. Um, 7 and 3 is 10 plus 4 is 14. So we can see that the surface area of this box, a rectangular prism, is going to be 142 square centimeters, which is answer choice D.